My name's Ray James, I'm the um, Acting State President of RSL New South Wales. We're an organisation that's over 100 years old and change is hard and um, to get the message across to these guys as the District Council um, representatives is very important back down to the sub-branches to, to filter down to them in, in understanding why the changes are necessary. It's very important to show where that dollar that we gather from members of the public that it is actually spent on the charitable purpose and that's where we've got to tidy up because over the years it's lapsed and there has been breaches throughout the state including at state branch level. Um, after the Bergen inquiry state branch has now cleared out their decks and now the state branch is up to state branch to make sure that all these sub branches are also doing the right thing by way of the legislation and the charitable act. Um, both federal regulators being the ACNC and the state regulator being fair trading. It's a member's constitution. We're a member-based organisation. So uh, at times some members might have their own feeling on this and we have not restricted anybody in the membership throughout New South Wales to have a say on their constitution. Um, the changes are unnecessary. The changes are necessary because of the Bergen inquiry and the disruption that we've had over the last two years. But we've got to move forward and you've got the chance now to help with those changes you, the member, we're member-based, we need to get on with business, we get on with our, bus well, our core businesses and that's looking after veterans and their families. So please, don't be afraid to ring Anzac House, don't be afraid to talk to your district councils and get the information that you require to work on this draft constitution.